Hey, what's up everyone? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we are looking at the Mega Bloks Halo 4 UNSC Broadsword. It's called Broadsword Midnight Strike on the packaging. It is composed of 716 pieces. There's the number, and there's the name right there. This is a pretty cool set. It's the one I've been most anticipating since I saw it at New York Toy Fair. And part of the reason of that, or at least a large part of the reason of that, is the actual minifigures. This is the Master Chief figure that comes with the set. He's got the battle damage there, and he features the new bonus articulation interchangeable armor body of the minifigures. You can pop him apart, you can change out the shoulder pads, the chest, the helmet obviously, the thigh armor, and I think even the cod piece. I'm pretty sure the cod piece comes out as well. I haven't done this yet because it's Master Chief, but yeah, you can swap out just about every bit of armor there is. So that's a pretty cool feature, especially on such a small figure. And then additionally, we now have a bicep swivel, which does help in holding some of the weapons. Most of them are still a little bit too big and clunky for them to properly hold with two hands, at least in a uh, natural way. But it's still really nice to have the additional articulation. It just adds a little bit more fun to the minifigures. So there's the Master Chief that comes with the set. We have a remold of Cortana. This time she's painted rather than molded in translucent plastic. The paint job is all right. We do have some of that kind of electronic looking line work throughout, so that's pretty cool. The face is a little bit lacking though, so that's a little disappointing. Um, I think I would really like to see a new Cortana mold using some articulation actually. That would be nice. But this is still a pretty cool figure and I think a lot of people, including myself, are happy to have it. So that's pretty cool. And then lastly, which is what most people are really excited about, is the Didact, which is incredibly impressive. This guy stands, I mean he's a little bit bigger than the normal figure, he's about three and a half inches tall. But he is just loaded with detail. Look at all of that sculpted detail, the painted detail is good. It's like almost on par with McFarlane's, what is he, 9 or 10 inch didact figure, and this guy's 3.5 inches, so that is pretty impressive. And since he's new, I'll show you the articulation, the head's on a ball peg, shoulders are on ball pegs. We have a hinged elbow, which also has the bicep swivel built in. Doesn't have the greatest range of motion, but it's not horrible. The wrists are swivels, he still can hold stuff using his hands, but he does have the new hands. Waist twist, ball peg hips, hinge knees, and that's it for him. So, you know, he's not loaded with articulation, obviously. He's just a, a, a Mega Bloks minifigure. But what articulation he does have is really pretty nice. And the detail in the paintwork and sculpt is extremely nice. So very cool. Very happy to have this guy in the collection. Let's take a look at the actual set now. It is from stem to stern. From nose to tail, just over 12 inches long, so it's definitely got some good size to it going this way. From wing to wing, it's about 11 inches, so that's pretty good. And from top to bottom, about 4 inches. So it really has some nice size to it. It comes with a little base that you can build to get it up off the ground, made out of clear bricks. So that's pretty nice, and it's just a really solid set. Um, now this isn't a complaint, since obviously it is a construction set. I do wish, and this is just my own personal preference, I wish we had more of these smooth plates to go over the wings, just to give it more of a finished look, but it's still, you know, it's still a really solid piece, and obviously that's not a complaint, just a preference. The bottom has tons of smooth pieces throughout, so I mean, it's not a, it's not a bad thing at all, it's just something I prefer, which is one of the reasons I like Mega Bloks, is they tend to have a more finished looking product, so that's still pretty cool. And we have some really nice features on this thing. Aside from all the different molded uh, colors in the bricks, we have, uh, not aside from, it. let's see if I can talk guys, I'm sorry, I'm getting ready for Comic Con and I am not getting much sleep trying to get stuff done, so I'm, I'm really trying to power through this. So what I'm trying to say is the molded bricks, we have a nice variety of colors and they are metallic. The grays are not just gray, they do have like a metallic paint to, or swirl to them. Same thing with the dark grays and even the, uh, we have some gold in here. So it's just a really nice appealing piece all the way around. It's really, really well done. Lots of stickers to put on to keep it looking finished. Very nicely done. And now we have some features to go over. These missiles here do actually fire 
uh, you press these down here and they shoot. It's a pressure system. I'll show you the missiles in a second. It shoots really well, surprisingly well, in fact. Um, especially for being, you know, more geared towards younger collectors for the most part. Um, these, this shoots really well. It's like an 8 plus, I guess. So, so 8 year olds. Don't shoot your eyes out, 8 year olds. Be careful with those things. But for those of us who are a little bit older, perhaps, I, I appreciate that they include things like that. It does have articulated um, machine guns, or whatever you call those. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Those are on both sides. I appreciate that. Uh, we have some hinged pieces. We have some flaps down here. It's the same on both sides. So we have this flap here, this flap up here, and we have this whole... I don't know, guys. I'm not into... Um, airplanes or space vehicles that much. I don't know what they're called, but whatever this piece is, that's hinged, and then this is hinged on top of that. Uh, this piece is actually connected by a hinge, but it's not really meant to move, so don't do that. Uh, the bomb down here can be disconnected. It's just connected on by a couple of the four peg bricks, so that's no problem there. That's the bomb. And then this piece right here, it just snaps on by a couple little snaps and you get inside here a weapons cache this is master chief's assault rifle but then you also get the little weapons if i can get it out little weapons cache of the sticky detonator it looks like the halo reach grenade launcher that's a little confusing and shotgun which actually looks to me like halo reach but i don't know and the saw so we have four extra weapons in addition to master chief's uh rifle and then we also have one of these guys right here which I'm guessing is supposed to be the uh, light grenade that nobody ever uses in the game because it's useless, but it can kill the didact, kind of, but not really. So we have that, and then we also have two additional missiles, and that's how they work. They just snap in down there, but in the firing system, that ball just pegs into a pressure system, and when you push this, it forces it through and it fires out. So that's pretty cool that they give you additional ones and that you have a little open compartment back here. Uh, I don't remember from the game having any opening of this area but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist and it doesn't mean it shouldn't be here anyway because it's still pretty cool and it seals up nice and tight we do have an opening cockpit here which is pretty nice if I can get it open it snaps down you guys may be familiar with that but I haven't had one yet so maybe maybe that's new I don't know so the cockpit's nice it stays up when it's up you have plenty of room in there for Master Chief and you can close that and it's got a little screen on there so it's a really nice set. It's, I really appreciate this thing. It's a cool piece. If you are a Halo fan, especially Halo 4, then this is definitely one I would recommend. In addition to the really nice set, you do get three, um, let's say, fundamental characters from the Halo franchise. So if you guys are into Mega Bloks, which I'm assuming you are, or at least into Halo, this is something you probably want to consider getting. It's a really nice set and I enjoyed building it. It took about four hours. Uh, I don't sort the pieces, I just dump them in their bag, uh, from their bags, into their specific piles, and it's, I find it easy enough to find the parts that way. So, um, instead of taking the time to sort, I just do it that way, and it took me just under four hours to build it, put the stickers on it, and everything. So, there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.